what we're gonna do is go ahead and take our soft box and attach it to our ProMaster continuous light. And then second, I'm gonna show you how to safely put that light that has a soft box on it. Obviously, this is gonna be quite a bit of weight. We're gonna put together a stand and safely put that soft box with the light on top of the stand so we can go out and use it to photograph. So uh, let's look down here at our soft box right where we left it. We have our speed ring facing up. And what I will always do is start off with that soft box facing down towards the ground. Um, this is just really great practice, best practice if you're using continuous lights, non-continuous lights, because it gets really heavy. And um, what we wanna do is mount this in the safest possible way. So I'm gonna take one of our uh, LED unplugged ProMaster lights here and remove this bell by pulling back on this latch right here. This is a Bowens mount. Um, so I just ever so slightly pop it out by going with a counterclockwise motion. So the bell comes out and my light is actually exposed. And you can see that that Bowens mount totally corresponds with the mount here on our softbox. So what I'm gonna do with this softbox facing down is put my light right on there so the latches sort of line up and then it latches into place. And the speed ring allows me to sort of rotate this lamp wherever I need it to be. So step two, once we have this together, I'll move it out of the way ever so slightly. We're gonna put together our light stand. So um, these are pretty simple and they look pretty straightforward, but um, there are right and wrong ways to put together a stand. And at the end of the day, the stand is gonna be the thing that gives structure and support to any of your lights, whether you're using them with soft boxes or just uh, with any other kind of modifier. We wanna make sure that we put our stand together correctly so the light doesn't come toppling down in the middle of a shoot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is ever so slightly unscrew our stand legs here. And I'm kind of pulling that out. I can use my thigh for a little bit of support. And what I'm looking for, tighten that screw back up. What I'm looking for is a really nice 45 degree uh, angle here on a triangle created by my stand. And here I have my 90 degree angle. What we really want is for this base to be parallel to the ground, totally flat. So we're getting the maximum amount of support out of our light stand, regardless of how much weight it's actually supporting. We want it to be really strong and sturdy. So um, I'm gonna put this on the ground and go ahead and unlock one of these levers so that I can get a bit more height to it and be able to mount the softbox on here safely. Now, before I do this, one thing I wanna let you know is as you're looking at your light and you're looking at your stand, you want that light with the softbox to be facing out towards one of the legs, not in the middle. Um, this is gonna give you less support. This is gonna give you a nice sense of balance and play with gravity, which is what we really need to have the, the strongest, most stable situation. Yay! So what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna make sure that we can get the softbox that has our light already ready to go up onto the stand that we've put together. Um, and so what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and loosen up this particular latch so that the part of my light that's gonna connect to my stand is perpendicular to the floor. Next thing I'm gonna do is pull up this whole thing as a unit very carefully. You always wanna pull it up by the light instead of the soft box. And what I'm gonna do is make sure that this is lined up. There we go. I just pushed in this button right here Hopefully you can see. Uh, so this would slide right on. And then in order to make sure that my soft box is really nice and tight here, I'm gonna go ahead and screw in 
this one as well. So now my soft box is facing the same direction as the, the leg of my stand. I am ready to go put this to use in the studio. I'm going to keep it at this height until I'm ready to really put it into action. And the last thing I would mention is that I put lights on stands a lot of the time as far as my professional photography practice, photographing events. And I personally make a point to make sure everything is super stable because the last thing you want is to have someone who's enjoying themselves at a party or a big event to accidentally knock your stand over with your light and then you go home crying. So I hope that this is really helpful and useful to you as you're working with our uh, ProMaster continuous lights at home or uh, somewhere on DePaul's campus. So I'm gonna grab my soft box right here with my light, very carefully pick this up. And what I wanna make sure is that I loosen up the bottom of that light here. So it's sort of facing straight down like that. And then I'm gonna tighten it, make sure these component pieces are tight before I go to my next step. And then I'm going to take that, pull in, push in at this button on my light here on this uh, mounting piece at the bottom. And then once I'm done pushing it in, it's been unlocked and it's sitting there pretty stably. And then I'm going to tighten up 
any screws. If you ever notice there's a loose screw and you don't want it, you always want to tighten every single screw to avoid any kind of error or something sort of falling down or, you know, having a moment there. Cool. So now I have my light facing this stand and um, I'll adjust my height once I get it set up in the studio. But those are the basics to setting up your light, your stand with your softbox. And just as a quick side note, I do this <laughs> pretty frequently whenever I'm photographing events. And the last thing I want is for someone who's having a really great time at a party to accidentally knock over my light. Doing this step, these steps of things really ensures that that doesn't happen. So um, great. <laughs>